This segment here is called Break It Down a Brick, y'all. Um, it's when we take a company and we break it down, um, give you an idea of the company so you can see it. This is not a recommended stock pick, but what it is is me just giving you an idea to help you understand companies. This company that we are looking on right now is, drum roll, Waste Management. It's a company I love, I ain't even gonna lie. Everybody else see trash, I see money. I ain't even gonna lie. They be seeing trash, I be like, money. I see that green and yellow anywhere, I be happy, you hear me? All right, so waste management is in the utility sector. It is actually the largest waste management company. They just occupied another 80 acres of land for landfills. Let's go a little further. So I like to always run through this test right here. Are they trapping? Are they inconsistent? Or are they slipping? So revenue has grown year over year for the last five years. They are trapping. Net income growing year over the last five years. They've kind of been inconsistent. Cash flow from operating, I mean the cash flow they're making from their number one business has increased year over year for the last five years. They're trapping. Free cash flow is positive for the last five years. They trapping. Gross margin is inconsistent, is consistent and growing over the last five years. That means the margins at which they're making money at is growing, which makes them pretty much better than their competitors. It's growing and earnings per share has grown for the last five years, they've been a little bit inconsistent. That's just the performance. Let's go a little further. What I like to look at is the return on equity. This is important. The industry return on equity is 12%. Their return on equity is 31%. They blowing their competitors out the water. That means that a company can take something and bring it back, right? Uh, also, return on invested capital, meaning they can invest money for us. Uh, is at 9.45% year over year. It's kind of been inconsistent, but 9%, I won't pass on it. I actually like this company and they've been growing their dividends. Let's go a little further. And we just dig a little deeper. We look at the financial health of the company. It's pretty good. Give us some checks. Um, the industry average is at about 18.8 and they are at right at 29.9%. Uh, let's go a little further. And we come to income statement. Free cash flow has been growing over the last seven years. Uh, net income has been growing. I like when a company free cash flow, uh, but it decreased a little bit over the year over year, but it did spike in 2021. 2022, it came down a bit. That's where the inconsistency was at. But I still see that people have definitely still been putting out trash. Let's go a little further. Revenue has decreased a little bit, but has been consistent. But in 22, it picked back up. Earnings per share peaked up high in 2018, dropped down in 2019, 2020, got new management in 2021. They've been growing. So I'm not mad at this company. Let's go a little further. And we look at it right here. I always like to look at PE ratio, fair PE ratio. Um, that's where it's average at. It's below it as at 29. Still kind of expensive right now um, when we look at the earnings compared to his competitors. Rollins is a good company, if you don't know. Rollins is the Terminate, the Terminex people. Y'all saw them before. It's red and white. Y'all saw this company before, but y'all don't remember it. It's a red and white company. The Orkin people. The Orkin man. Y'all heard of that before? The Orkin man, the Terminate, the Termite, not Terminator. Termite. Termite. I'm saying the Terminate. My dude, like, nah, Trap, I ain't never heard of the Terminator company. What you talking about, my guy? I don't. Where the hell you from, Trap? You hear me? I'm from New Orleans, dog. I'm talking about Terminex, man. You know the people, man. Oregon, man. <laughs> uh, but that's a good company. Uh, Rollins is the name of the company. It's a good company. Um, waste management at 29, but they're real, real expensive. You can see they're 50 times 142%. I don't like Republic Service. I don't really like them. They trash. Uh, but I definitely like waste management as a business. Let's go. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. 
And the only way we get you there is if we help you to learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lacked the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to take you from panic to encouragement. There's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. Come join me in Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two hour class we do on Sunday, or whether it's just the book club, everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy Wall Street Traveler. See you in a trap. So I never argue with people about what's the best asset class to own. That's never an argument for me. I think you should own stocks. I think you should own real estate. I think you should own gold. I think you should own businesses. I think it's a thing. But when you look at the billionaires of America, at least 50% of their wealth will be in stocks. At least. If you go look at the top 10 richest people in the world, 70% of their wealth is in stocks. Here's why they own stock in their own company at large proportions. So you can see Elon must lose $40 billion in a day based on stock price. But when the stock price goes back up, he becomes the richest man in the world. But now or no, the man who owns Louis Vuitton and Wet Hennessy, the owner that owns LVMH, I think it was 79 or 82%, I don't want to lie, of his money was in the LVMH brand. That means, what, 12% was somewhere else? The majority of his money was in stock in his company. And it's saying that I ain't willing to own a great business for a long time. Mark Zuckerberg created one business and then just bought as much stock in that business as he could and then just rolled it out. And every now and then he just sell a million shares, two million shares, get him some liquid cash. But the, the best thing you could do is put your money in equities. The best thing you can do is put your money in some type of asset. For me, I just followed the blueprint, y'all. I'm going to just keep it 100 with y'all. I sent my partner, my partner Chad from 85, so he texted me today. He said, bro, is it true that you keep your money? You keep like 10% of your money um, in your check? I said, bro, yeah, sure. I showed him my $8,900 in my checking account. I don't have nothing that serious going on in my life. <laughs> just keeping it real. I sent him a screenshot. Yeah. He said, damn, I got some readjusting to do. I said, bro, why would I need all that money on me? Why would I need money on me like that? I don't live that, one, I don't live that kind of lifestyle. Number two, if I'm following the blueprint of the people who are wealthy in America, ain't none of them sitting on a lot of cash. We the only one got to sit on the cash. And look, oh, I gotta, gotta check my checking account. I gotta make sure the money in there. I gotta make sure it's there. I just say, I gotta, I gotta make sure it's there. I, I told a story, I said, man, I, I made my first million dollars, I was scared to leave out the house. Traumatized. Traumatic. That was traumatic for me. I felt like the whole world knew I had made a million dollars. And I ain't told nobody. I just was looking at the account like, well, that, I'm not leaving out of here. No, indeed, no. Look at that thing again. Mm-mm. <laughs> and I knew I couldn't get it out of the bank. I was like, well, we gotta, I gotta do something with that thing, man. I gotta do something. <laughs> I got to do something with this. this. This don't sit right with me. I was uncomfortable. So I, look, how much can I do at one time? A hundred? Bet. I need seven deposits. I need to make seven transactions. You know, I need to put, so I need to go build some land over. I need to do something. I don't, and so as I studied them, I realized that, you know, they're not sitting on cash like that. Now, of course, when you're growing, 
and you 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 building, you in that building phase, you need liquidity. You need the liquidity. So I'm not saying that, but I need you to take on a mindset that I don't want to just be sitting on this cash just to be looking at it in my account. I need it to be moving because I know for a fact, one, the bank not going. If somehow with the bank, they not giving me my money. They only insuring 250. So why would I be sitting on three million dollars in cash? Two million. Why would I be sitting on that? OK, am I going to spread it out in 10 different banks? Who wants the whole go to 10 different banks? I got time to do that. Man, let me put that stuff in the market, man. Let me go buy a house. Let me go buy a complex. Let me go buy something. Let me go put some money. In. Hey, my, you want an account? Yeah, start my daughter account. Let me move the money around. So I want y'all to, this, this is real. You can look at it. The wealthy own more stocks and explains the stock ownership in America. This was in the end of 2021. I'm promised in 2022 it went up through the roof because they printed another $8 trillion. The wealthy people of America increased the wealth by how much in 2022? By 2023, $5 trillion. Guess where that money at? In the market. Guess what's going to happen on the other side of this situation we're in right now? The wealthy going to increase their wealth some more. You got the option. You can keep crying by anybody got no money or you can find a way to make your money grow. The choice is yours. Damn, that was good. I like when I go on a little quick, small rant like that. Little, little small rant, please, Tootie, y'all. The little small rants keep Tootie happy.